Hello there, in this video I'm going to teach you how you can use the AI Canvas feature on Leonardo AI. First of all, head over to Leonardo AI. Over here, down in the user tools section, you're going to select AI Canvas. Once you're here, you can actually go down and upload the image. You can upload from your computer. You can actually upload one of your previous generations or from the community feed. We're going to upload it from the computer. You can also drag and drop more than one image. Now, you can actually go over to the select tool. And this is a little box. You can just like use it to fill areas or extend stuff around your actual image. I'll teach you how to do that. Just go over here. Make sure it's half inside the image and half outside. For that, just enter up the prompt and say same background. Just hit generate or you can hit enter on your keyboard it will do the same thing after that's done it will actually give you four options you can choose from in your generation i'm choosing this since it's the best quality you can also change up your fine tune model i'm changing it to absolute reality v1.6 we can also edit up this tiny box that's left out over here. Just hit generate. This one matches our image the best, so I'm choosing this. If you don't like any, you can also hit the cancel and just redraw your entire image. You can also change how many variations you want. And you can change the image dimensions, which is the dimensions of this block. You can also increase the render density to have better quality images. Now, we are going to actually join these two images together. Sort of create a merge in between them. So for that, I can just continue with two aesthetics merging or whatever your prompt is. I'm actually going to reduce the render density for now. You can change the pixels to just match your image basically. That's up to you. Just make sure it roughly fits and then you can generate again. It didn't give us the best results, so I'm going to try a different prompt.
we're still having these weird white lines in the middle. We can try again with our base prompt, which was just same background. We aren't getting the best options, but that explains my point. You can use this to merge up stuff. I'll hit generate again. Now, for example, if you have something in your image that you don't like or you want to replace it with something higher quality. So you can move up and down with your scroll wheel. And if you want to just like move side to side, you can hit this little hand over here and move around without disturbing the image. You can zoom in and out with your control plus scroll wheel. Or on the top, you can just use these zoom in and out features. Let's say we don't want this band over here. I'm going to select this, move the little box over here, increase the render density, and lower the image dimensions. After that, I'm just going to select the erase feature and just erase it out of our image. You can see that it actually erases the whole image and we're just left with the transparent background in the middle. So after you're done erasing, just go back to the select tool, move the little box over it, and you can use the prompt such as same background to generate over it. I'll try it with a different prompt since our base one didn't work. Keep in mind you also have limited credits. You can see them on the top right. So don't run off. And now we have slightly better results. You can choose any one of these you want to keep. I like the first one so I'm keeping it. Hit accept. And as you can see, it's like a very high quality planet. If you want to lower the quality a bit, you can actually change up the render density and scale it down a bit. But that's it. For the mask feature, you can actually go over here, for example. And on this path over here, I'm just going to create a mask. And let's add something on top of it. For example, it didn't generate our image, but that was because I forgot to move the little box. Just move this down here.
You can also change the grid for it to snap better. For example, if you think the movements are a little more snappy. Or like if you want to really lower it down and change up the grid. Just put the box wherever you want to retrace the image and hit generate. And you can see it added a little frog where we added the mask feature. It didn't really generate us the best results because my mask that I created was like massive. You can do this with like a tiny mask. For example, changing the size and going up to one corner. Just like in this puddle over here. Just make a tiny circle. Go over to the select tool. And... Make your box a little smaller. We can hit generate again. And it just draws it there. You can hit accept if you like it. After the erase and mask features, we have our sketch feature. You can just sketch anything on top of the image you can change the colors up here and you can change the brush size if you just want to ruin your whole image with a massive piece of paint you can also color select from a color that is inside your image for example this color picker tool just go over to any color that you want to choose this and it will equip that color so you can actually paint in that color a little more into your generation. Otherwise, if you're done messing around and you like the thing that you actually created, you can go over here and download your artwork. That sums up the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.